Hey, what is up guys? This is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and I'll be continuing my celebration of the 40th anniversary of Star Wars. And how will I be doing that? Well, we're going to continue with more awesome Star Wars figures. So for this review, I'll be taking a look at... The Star Wars The Black Series, Princess Leia Organa, from A New Hope Film. Now, taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in your standard Black Series window box packaging. Turning the box around, we can see an image of Princess Leia in the background, with a short bio right across the front. And on the top right, we can see that she is numbered at number 30. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. And here is the princess out of the box. And man, I am so stoked to have this version of Princess Leia finally in my collection. She's actually a pretty decent figure, but she does have a few minor problems. So with this figure finally in hand, let's take a closer look at Princess Leia. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at Princess Leia. Um, first and foremost, just rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. Um obviously such a big character uh and person in the nerd universe you know just with star wars and whatnot and she was just a, such an icon to a lot of us geeks out there so uh definitely rest in peace to carrie fisher uh first and foremost so uh very cool very glad that we finally have um a new hope uh episode four princess leia uh we've gotten a couple other ones in her in her boss uh what was it uh like the bounty hunter costume and then her slave uh, costume, but this is the one I was waiting for the most. Uh, is the one from A New Hope with her white robes and whatnot. So pretty, pretty cool. Now the head sculpt uh, to me, it's not great. I'll be honest, uh, it's a little lackluster. Um, the paint apps seem to be pretty good for the most part. The eyes look okay. So do the eyebrows. Uh, then we do get a nice bright red lipstick. Uh, right there, bright red lips, even with a little pink uh, like airbrush right there in the cheeks to make them pop out a bit, which is pretty nice. Uh, mine does seem to have a little bit of a scuff. Uh, it might be hard to see, but right there uh, by the lip, it almost looks like a birthmark right there. But uh, yeah, I tried to scrape that out, but it just wasn't happening. So, uh, But we do get that classic Princess Leia haircut uh, with those buns on the side, those little cinnamon roll buns that the Princess Leia character is just so well known for. Uh, I think those came out really, really cool. And then for the most part, you just get her basic robes. Uh, it's not a whole lot of detail to that, just plain white robes. And this all is a soft goods, so it's, it all came out really, really good. I do love the detail of the belt. I think the belt came out really nice. So it's a solid white with all these silver studs around the whole thing. And it does look like it could be unpegged and whatnot, uh, but I haven't really tried it and I don't really want to. Because uh, I don't plan on removing these robes at all. So then she just has standard flesh under that and whatnot. You pick up her uh, robes here, and then you get the nice boots sculpt. I think the boots came out really, really good. Uh, they are in a really glossy white, so I think those are really, really nice. And black on the bottom, so very, very cool. Uh, she also does have this hood. You can see I had it folded down in the back, and you can kind of drape it over her head like that. And I actually think that works okay. Uh, I've seen way worse when it comes to hoods like this, uh, and it actually does, I think, rest pretty good uh, for what it is. It's, it's not perfect, uh, but I think it actually does work pretty decent, so I do like that quite a bit, but I'll probably display her with a hood uh, down like that. Now, she does come with a couple guns here, a couple blasters. Uh, she does have, I guess, more of a, what's called a, considered a Princess Leia blaster. Which is this one right here. It just has a just a little pistol type with a really long thin barrel. And I think that's very, very cool. Uh, I believe that's the same one that came with the original Princess Leia figure. Um, but I don't actually think she ever used that in any of the films. Uh, I think that was just something they packed in with the original figure. And here it is updated in the Black Series form. So I think that's very, very cool. She also comes with a Stormtrooper blaster rifle. Which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, you can actually to hand this uh, like that, if I could actually find the bend here, there we go, 
and two-handed like that pretty cool uh, so uh, I think most of you know uh, she did actually did use this gun uh, in the New Hope toward the end when she was in the uh, her little prison right there little prison cell and she had to shoot up fire uh, fire some blasts at some oncoming oncoming stormtroopers and try to like uh, defend her Luke and Han from trying to escape and whatnot so I think that was pretty cool I actually like the inclusion of that so pretty pretty good so let's take a look at articulation now. So the head is on a ball joint, does roll around a little bit, rotates left and right, looks up and down pretty far on a disc hinge, which I think works very, very well. The arms can go all the way up and down and out, rotate at the bicep, double, double jointed elbows. So you can get quite a good bend right there. Rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist. Uh, we do get a ball joint uh, just below her breast into her abdomen so you can roll that around just like that rotate left and right crunch back and forth and pivot side to side we get hip joints like kick forward about that much kick back about that far uh, she can do the splits uh, only about that far which isn't great rotation at the thigh we got double double jointed knees that work pretty good for the most part uh, we get an ankle joint loves to point the toe up and down and a really nice ankle rocker uh, so overall, yeah, I, you know, I've, I've handled the other Princess Leia figures uh, from the six-inch Black Series line, uh, but I think this one is probably is my favorite. Uh, I think maybe maybe mostly it's just because of the costume, but it's something very, uh, very nostalgic about the classic white robes uh, with Princess Leia. And I'm so glad, like I said, rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. Uh, very happy to have this figure in my collection she's definitely been one that we've been waiting for for a very long time and again I think she is definitely a must get so for a quick size comparison here she is standing next to a Marvel Legends Captain America figure as well as a DCUC Batman figure and for a new hope comparison here she is standing next to the Black Series Luke Skywalker and Han Solo figures and for your Princess Leia comparison, here she is standing next to a vintage Princess Leia from Kenner. And just for fun, here she is standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is, guys. My review of the Star Wars The Black Series Princess Leia Organa. Now rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. You are truly missed by nerds all around the world. This figure does have a few minor problems, like the face sculpt is a little off, but overall she's pretty badass and I couldn't be prouder to have her in my collection. She truly is one of the greats and I think this figure is definitely a must get. So please comment, like, and subscribe. May the force be with you, and stay nerdy my friends. Peace.